Pasar mobil listrik di Indonesia terus mengalami pertumbuhan. Menurut data gabungan industri kendaraan bermotor Indonesia atau Gaikindo, realisasi total penjualan mobil listrik di Indonesia sepanjang semester pertama 2021 mencapai 1.900 unit. Jumlah itu terdiri atas model hybrid, plug-in, hybrid electric vehicle, serta mobil listrik baterai. Untuk menjawab tantangan penggunaan sel baterai ramah lingkungan, Destin Group, sebuah perusahaan asal Hong Kong, menciptakan baterai inovatif. yang dianggap bisa menjadi solusi utama. Melalui sambungan Zoom, kita akan berbincang dengan narasumber yaitu Mr. Siamak Kia, CEO of Destin Group. Halo Mr. Siamak. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Okay, thank you for joining CNN Indonesia. Okay, first of all, could you explain uh, what is the environmental friendly battery cell technology? Okay, well, Dustin's battery cell technology will be produced with predominantly renewable energy sources. It mm. means our cell production will have much smaller carbon footprint and therefore far less negative impact on the climate. Because our batteries last many times longer than the typical electric car batteries, it makes them more sustainable and more eco-friendly. Hence, we produce less batteries, and at the end of their life in the electric car, They can be used in the energy storage system in their second life. Okay, Mr. Shilam, I've also heard that a Destin Group will come up with a new charging technology, which is called the Ultra Fast Charging Battery Cell Technology. What is the advantage of that? And also, can you elaborate how is the mechanism? Because we, it's also mentioned that the charging for the electric car will only take under five minutes. Is that correct? That is correct. We are number one in fast charging battery in the world. Mm. Actually, with four minutes and 40 seconds charging from zero to 80%. We have been testing the ultra fast charging and the battery pack together since 2018. And now we're ready. Our technologies, they have all the right certificates, including safety. Uh, we and our customers are now demonstrating the technology in the electric car with the ultra fast charging uh, that we have developed in Destin. Ultra fast charging is mm-hmm. vitally important for convincing auto buyers to make the switch to electric cars by removing charging wait times and bringing charging out of homes and into the existing petrol station networks that we currently have. We can shift to electric cars without changing our behavior in mm-hmm. how we fuel or charge our cars. For many, particularly those living in condominiums in major cities, charging at home is simply not possible. Ultra-fast charging in public charging stations make electric cars accessible to everyone, especially if they can charge their car with the same amount of time that it takes them to fuel their combustion car today. Mm. The last point is that with ultra-fast charging, a single charging station can service many more cars per day, reducing the aggregate number of charges needed to meet the demands of the electric cars on the road in the future. And as we know that Destin uh, Group now is negotiating with Indonesian government, right? But as we know also, um, the usage of electric car in Indonesia is not as popular as other countries uh, such as in Europe, for example. And also the availability of the product is very, very limited. Um, How do you respond to that then? Well, that's a very interesting question. Yes, we believe that public investment in infrastructure must always be forward thinking Mm. because it creates the infrastructure that is planned for tomorrow. It delivers the best long-term value as an investment for the country, which benefits the citizens. This positions Indonesia at the forefront of the nations to accelerate and lead the adoption of electric cars. Destin is bringing world's number one most powerful fast charging solution, which is up to a thousand kilowatts to mm-hmm. revolutionize Indonesia's charging infrastructure, infrastructure and prepare it for the future. Indonesia will be the first country in the world to deploy the most advanced charging solutions by leapfrogging the slow charging infrastructure that is already deployed in Europe. Americans began the development of their national highway system with forward thinking and making investment in their future. They built 40,000 miles of highway roads in mid-1900 
And that is what we're proposing to work with the government of Indonesia. No government will invest in all charging technology, especially for that infrastructure. If they have the opportunity to acquire the most advanced one, partnering with Destin. We all know that electrification of transport is the future. And Indonesia is making an equally visionary investment mm. for the future of this economy. Okay, but we are also very curious, apart from the electric car, what does the Destin battery cell could be used for? Well, Destin technology is uniquely advantageous for energy storage, in fact, with fast charging and fast discharging. It ensures access to power by providing greater flexibility with the use blackouts. It is also well suited to integrate renewable energy projects into the grid while also providing ultra fast charging infrastructure for electric cars that we just talked about. This will result in Indonesia being able to reduce the dependency on more expensive energy sources like gas plant and therefore reducing the cost of energy for the citizens. For Indonesia with its 17,000 islands, mm -hmm. Destin's energy storage solution can serve remote communities access to power. And for large islands, help with the rollout of the energy, renewable energy and electrification of the transportation system. So there are many more applications for the Destin cell technology and the fast charging and energy storage systems, as we just talked about. Okay, my last question will be related by all the, the viewers now. When will Indonesia could enjoy this high end technology? Well, Indonesia can use it now. That's an energy storage solution will be available today for grid scale renewable projects and remote communities, as mentioned before, and reducing Indonesia's dependence on coal and other polluting energy sources. Charging stations will be available for everyone to use for fast or slow charging when they need it. As electric vehicle adoption in Indonesia you know, grows for public transportation, taxis and personal vehicle, Indonesians will benefit from the public investment that is being planned today for their future. With our plans to produce battery cells in Indonesia, you will soon be able to purchase electric cars and electric scooters with Destin battery cell inside, for which you will not have to wait to charge your car or scooter at a charging station any longer than it takes you today to fill your combustion car or scooter. Mr. Rasia Makia, CEO of Destin Group, thank you so much for your time and goodbye. Well, thank you very much and thank you for your time. Ya, dan demikian perbincangan kita bersama Mr. Syama Kia, CEO of Destin Group. Semoga teknologi ini bisa membantu program pemerintah untuk mengatasi perubahan iklim di Indonesia dan juga di dunia. Saya Diana Trika undur diri, terima kasih, sampai jumpa.